Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to use the dimensions in AutoCAD 2016. Here I am going to create one another layer for uh, the dimension purpose. For that layer properties, now create uh, one new layer by pressing this button and uh, you can name it. dimension you can choose the color of the layer I will choose one blue color okay and double click for making it as the default layer close it now click on the dimensions now when you select the object it will automatically specify the dimensions here the dimension text is very small I have to change it for that I will go to this annotation and standard I can manage the text styles ok click on that and I will change the dimension height to 0.5 click apply close here I will choose the color of this dimension layer as the red one ok so close this one now click on the dimensions the dimension tool automatically detect the appropriate dimension tool for the selected object so when you move the mouse over any object it will automatically decide what kind of dimension tool it needs so for an arc it will automatically choose the radius dimension now choose the area where we have to keep the dimension letter for specifying the length of this object specify the first end point then the second end point and choose the area where you have to keep the dimension now you can right click and you can choose the continue option choose the first reference point then choose the second point and now choose the third point then it automatically add the dimensions as a continue dimension for quitting from this command press the escape button now if you want to add manually you can choose the linear dimensions here if you want to specify the length of this line you can choose these two endpoint and drag here so it will give the dimensions in this area if you want to know the actual size of actual length of this line you can use the aligned dimension so the aligned dimension will be detect this two point and it will draw a dimension line parallel to this object for dimensioning an angle you can use this angular dimension and you can choose the two lines of the angle then it will draw the angular dimensions here if you want to draw the arc dimensions outside the drawing you can choose these two lines and you can select the area where you have to keep the dimensions then it will automatically draw an extended line to keep the dimension outside the drawing to draw the 
arc length you can choose this option and select the arc it will give the length of the arc actual length of the arc for using the radius dimension you can use this also for the diameter you can choose this diameter option usually for the circles we are using the diameter tool it will show the diagram of a diameter before this text for using the baseline dimension you can choose this dimension option choose the first point and the second point and specify the area where you have to keep the dimension then right click choose the baseline and choose the first point then choose the second point here then choose the third point like that for quitting press escape thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel